Orlando Science Center is getting ready for the eclipse. They are hosting a viewing party. It starts in just two hours. Fox 35 Storm Team meteorologist Jessica Dobson is there live right now to show us all the cool stuff you can do there today. Hi, Jessica. Hi, good morning, Amy and Danielle. Yeah, we are at the center of all things solar eclipse here at the Orlando Science Center, where they are going to have a viewing party that begins, like you said, in just a couple of hours. So I want to bring in, uh, we have Zach here who works at the Orlando Science Center. Good morning, Zach. Tell us a little bit about the viewing party and what people might expect. Yeah, so I know the eclipse doesn't start until about 1.40 uh, today, but our event starts at 10 o'clock. We're kind of pre-gaming the eclipse a little bit. It's going to be a lot of fun. We have a lot of different activities. Uh, um, for the young ones all the way up. Um, we have things like asking astronaut questions to um, ice cream down in the park when it gets a little too hot this afternoon, a bunch of games and exciting activities. That sounds like a lot of fun. So where can people find tickets and how much do they cost? Yeah, so um, all of the information is going to be found on our website at www.osc.org. Um, there's going to be a solar viewing watch party um, for all of that information for how to watch at home safely or how to join the activities here at the Science Center. And you get free Eclipse class too. Yes, all purchases of tickets get uh, glasses, so definitely if you weren't able to get any, uh, this is a great way to join the festivities and get some glasses. And how many people are you expecting to show up today or hoping to show up or just a general idea? Yeah, so our capacity is 3,500 um, and tickets could sell out, so you're definitely going to want to go on the website now and register those tickets. They're by time, so you're going to have to select a time to arrive in the building today. And we were talking a little earlier, it's going to be 20 years, so two decades before for the next eclipse, eclipse happens uh, that we can see in Florida. So talk to me about how long you guys have been preparing for this. Yeah, so we had an eclipse back in October. Um, so that was about six months ago. So we basically turned right around and we started planning this one. Um, we learned a lot of good lessons on how to host an activity for it. And hopefully in the last six months, we were able to master it for this time around. It's going to be so much fun. I mean, a party on a Monday. I think we all need a party every Monday, right? Yeah. Just to do with sure. them. But yeah. we're going to have lots more information about what you can expect here at the Orlando Science Center. And we're also going to talk more on some myths that you might have about the eclipse. We've talked about, uh, we were talking a little earlier, do not wear your uh, eclipse glasses while you're driving during the eclipse. So we'll talk more on why in just a little bit, but you'll have to stay tuned for that. But we'll send it back to you guys in the studio until then. Yeah, it's crazy when you put those glasses on. It's like a total blackout so that would definitely not be safe good advice Jessica thank you mm -hmm.